Howdy folks, so here's on the next step here. I got these um, racks, three of them. They're stainless steel off of uh, Craigslist. They're used, uh, they're actually by this company, Barco, that m makes these for the racks for carrying glass. And that's what they're used for. They're stainless steel, they'll last forever. They're really nice and they fit on the van quite well. You can see how it goes right into the gutter. Fits in there and they're fully adjustable. What I didn't know was you put the middle one here, this one here in the middle, and it's adjustable up and down. You see those two screws up here? Right there. And that is for adjusting up and down because uh, a van or whatever kind of vehicle has kind of a hump in the middle and so this way you can adjust everything to go across and that was the case with this now I could have put this back a little further but we decided to just go this far because we had the vent up there and uh, we didn't want to interfere with that anyway now on the side of this one two three it's gonna mount the awning that will live in a little pouch that it comes with and then you just unzip it and pop it right out. But that's for later. So I had some Unistrut left over from doing the uh, solar racks on the other projects. And so I've used that using some U-clamps. And that will be for mounting the solar panels. Let me climb up here on the ladder and show you what we got here. So it's looking nice and clean. As you can see. So there's a Unistrut. And then laying on there will be three 100 watt uh, panels for the solar. And somewhere right over in this vicinity right here is going to be um, where I'm going to make a uh, penetration into the roof again. And that will feed the wire for the solar panels down into the van. All right, let me get started. All right, check it out. I got them mounted up there. I used the Unistrut. Let's see if we can get underneath here. See, the Unistrut goes down with a C-clamp that uh, holds on the um, Unistrut to the stainless steel tubing on the rack. And then from there, I just mounted the solar panels straight to the Unistrut. I got all the wiring on the same side here, which I will tie off on the inside here. Let's go up the ladder and have a look here. You can see me going up there, huh? What's up? All right. Enough playing around like a goofball. All right, so there they are. So that's nice. They give a little bit of shade up there. Kind of get a, uh, uh, like a uh, four foot by six foot area. I got a little bit more room in the front there that I might mount something else. I can put uh, something on either side if I like right here. Maybe um, a pipe on there uh, and then uh, paint it black or something. And I can put uh, like fishing poles in it or, you know, whatever. Something that's long. Eh, hey, we'll see how it goes. Alright, well now I have to get this uh, uh, a hole penetrated through the roof over here somewhere. So let's have a look at that. So the solar panels are all mounted. The wiring is all tied up underneath there. Nice and neat. Runs over. down along by the vent and then I put this in. I drilled some holes in there and uh, put this little attachment on there that made a uh, place to put the wires in. Okay so here is what I built in here. 
for my solar system. I have the power comes in and um, from the solar panels. You can see the light flashing because it's charging. It comes into the charge controller. First it goes through a fuse that I have down here. Up and then through the charge controller. Out of the charge controller through a fuse and then it comes over to the battery bank that I put in there. Now I got these used batteries. I don't know how they're going to work out. I might have to get something new. But I mounted them to the floor and then I used a bungee cord with an eye loop going over to the other side back there. So you see we have um, and then from there the power comes out on, there's the big red one and then uh, there's a black one comes over to the uh, right here so this is a fuse to also disconnect and so I have that in there and then the positive feeds up and so we have the positive and the negative and then in there is a let's pull this off of here is a fuse block there. So for instance, if I put a fuse in here, like that, I'd be able to power some things on. I just don't have anything going right now. And uh, all the negatives are nicely tied together here and coming in off this negative. And then the positives come up and they go to the various different places throughout the van. One of them will feed a small inverter that I'm putting in that will uh, convert to uh, 115 volt to give me uh, charging for cell phones and for a laptop or something like that. And so we'll have a little bit of that available, 115 volts if we need it. But as you can see, I had to make some crazy stuff here to follow the contour of the van. But it, uh, it all came out really nice and so now we have solar power in the van. Alright, well this is the Homestead Handyman. Follow along for the next part of the uh, van build. Homestead Handyman, out.